When life is giving you the experience of not enough of something you want, not enough money, for example, you're asking for more. In fact, we've been watching you. You're asking and asking and asking and asking and asking and asking and asking. And there is a veritable fortune amassed for you, vibrationally speaking, in what we are calling this vortex of creation. This is a vibrational reality that precedes all things that you call your manifested reality. Sometimes our physical friends are annoyed as we wave arms around and describe this vortex of creation, this vibrational reality. They just say, show me the money, Abraham. <laughs> I want to believe you that that airy fairy stuff is real, but what I really want is the tangible evidence. And we want you to understand that once you've launched the rocket and once the source within you has acknowledged it and is holding to it, that there is a vibrational reality that is valuable. It's an escrow that you can count on, but you have to be a vibrational match to what you're asking for. And often, even though you want to be, you're not. You beat the drum of not enough money. And as you do, you're asking for more and asking for more because whenever there's not enough, you are asking for more. And so source is tending to and holding this fortune. And here's the thing that we really want you to understand in this vortex of creation, where the larger part of you dwells, where law of attraction is assembling all cooperative components. That is the key reference for you to take away from this gathering. All cooperative components have already been assembled for the manifesting of all things that you are asking for. But the question that we want you to become aware of as you are here in this workshop today, we want you to ask yourself, am I in my physical form, a cooperative component? And the answer is often you're the only uncooperative component. Because you're still beating the drum of, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. And you know why that is? Because your awareness of your reality has your nearly undivided attention. You're so busy looking at what is that you've forgotten that what is was only and is only and will only ever be the bouncing off place for this vortex of creation where all things are happening. So what happens as you live your life, just like you knew you would, the contrast helps you to do step one. Step one causes you to ask and you do it all day, every day. You cannot turn that asking off. The entire universe is established to provide for you and everyone else, you know, this opportunity to continue to expand and evolve, even if you are a one celled organism. So you're asking and source is not just answering source is literally becoming the vibrational equivalent of what you're asking for. And because the inner being within you, the source within you gives undivided attention to the new and improved expansion that you've carved out of your leading edge life experience. When you focus on the opposite of what you have now asked for, let's say it a better way. When you focus upon the opposite of what you have evolved to, do you get it? Do you get that life caused you to ask and the larger part of you evolved to a new vibrational stance? And when you don't go, you don't feel good. That's what that separation, that's what negative emotion is. That's what the tug of war within you often is. And so it, it, it's what we're saying to everyone. If you have to have a perfectly healthy body before you feel good, you're in trouble. If you have to have every single meal you eat be perfect in every single way before you can be happy, you're not ever going to be happy. If your kids have to behave and be joyful in every moment, you're not ever going to be happy. In other words, you've got to give up the need to control the uncontrollable and discover your vibrational latitude to connect with your inner being who is always joyful, who always loves, who always knows, who always understands your value who always understands the value of others. You have to train yourself into that frequency when it's easy. And if you train yourself and if you pay attention to it, when it's easy and practice it, when it's easy, it will never be hard for you again. You see, but you mm. got to understand, you got to understand the laws of the universe. You got to understand vibration. You got to understand what your emotions mean. And you got to care. Most of all, you got to care how you feel. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would make a decision. We would motivate ourselves. Even we would say, I am not willing to put up with negative emotion, not for very long.
I'm just not going to do it. Now, that doesn't get you anywhere, but it is a sort of decisive point.